Vincent. Yes. Uh, congratulations. Must feel really good to play two excellent games back to back like that in the Betfred World Match Play. Oh, definitely. We. Really, um I was practicing so well, and you hoped. Uh, I mean, yesterday uh, I was watching Michael, and he was practicing amazing. Really, he had uh, every shot you wanted. He hit it, and he went on stage and hit nothing. So I hit everything in, in practice as well. So I was a little bit, which way will it go? But then uh, you come five nil up, and it made me nervous really, because <laughs> this is going too well. <laughs> so, so um, I, no, I'm really happy with the win. Having seen Michael, who obviously is your best mate in, in darts, having seen him go out in a, a big surprise last night, what does, does that change your mindset? Because you're used to being at tournaments with Michael there alongside you all the way through. No, no. I mean, I'm, I'm around this dart world for many, many years, so I can close that off. But it was a shock. I mean, he's, 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 he's my best friend and, 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 and he lost and I felt sorry for him. But... On the other hand, he knows now he has to do something different and he has to live more for it and he will probably come back stronger. What about you though, Vincent? Because you talk about coming back stronger. You have come back. I mean, it wasn't that many years ago that you were telling me I'm retiring, my back can't do it. These are the moments tonight that made it all worthwhile, all that pain and rehab and physiotherapy and things like that. Oh, definitely. I never forget that. I know that after the match against Max Hopp, I was just I was gone. I, mean, I was in so much pain, and you don't want to play with that much pain. But um, I took it up, and, and 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 you work on it. And when you get results, it's easy to work on it. But when you don't get results, then it's difficult to go Monday morning and go for a walk or go stretch and and everything. But I, I keep on doing it, and it finally pays off. And the four months off helped me as well, definitely. Four months in my own bed, no uh, different, no flying, no, no nothing. Uh, I want to say something. No, 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 no. <laughs> no different countries, no different places. So I'm, uh, I was there, so it was good. Well, look, you're into the quarterfinals of the Betfred World Match Play again. Last time, 11 years ago, yeah. not gone beyond this stage, but you're playing a bit like you did at the European Championship last year, where it took an incredible display from Gerwin Price to stop you in a very close quarterfinal. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I know when I'm playing one game at, at a day, I can beat everybody, but I have to, everything has to be all right. It's just, today, I, I think I could have played a lot better, but the scoreline wasn't against me. Right? Uh, that, that sounds funny, but 5-0 up, 8-2 up, that makes you feel that like you, you, you can't, you, if you lose, it's embarrassment. Don't know if it makes sense. But, so you're just trying to win legs instead of just finish it off, because I'm not used to being in that situation. But I feel great. So bring on next match. Coming into tonight, you were the 80 to 1 rank outsider to win this title, but it's a tournament of shocks so far. Do you think we could see a, a surprise winner come Sunday night? Let's look at one match at a time, not, not too far ahead. I've been underestimated by many players in the past, and they came out feeling sorry for themselves. So let's hope that this time the same. Great stuff. Well done, Vincent. Okay, man. We'll grab your mic.